Whew. What an absolute whirlwind 2022 turned out to be. And well, for all of you, I have a lot of explaining to do. So come with me and let's go over what happened in 2022 here on the channel and how we're going to tackle some of those lessons learned in 2023. What's up guys, happy new year, welcome to 2023. Now this is not going to be one of those crazy prediction videos or retrospective videos looking back at the tech of 2022. That's reserved for another video. This one is going to be more personal and a chance for me to explain to you guys what happened last year and hopefully help you avoid the romance and trappings in your own careers. Now to recap, I set off at the beginning of 2022 with a very lofty goal of producing a video per week and for the first half of the year, I was knocking that out of the park and I had an absolute blast doing so. But if you look close, you can kind of tell where things start going off the rails right around June. What happened in June? Well, the first in-person event I attended since the shutdown was right here in Vegas, Cisco Live. I shot a fun walk around video and an interview with our director of FlexPod here at NetApp. But that footage wasn't the only thing I brought home. <laughs> you guessed it. After more than two years avoiding it, I had finally picked up COVID-19 and brought it home, infecting my house. Esther and I were in rough shape for more than two weeks. Hell, I think we personally paid the rent for our local go-to Vietnamese pho shop because we had it delivered almost daily here to our house. But anyways, you guys knew I had COVID. Let's talk about what happened during and after that absolutely consumed me for the last six months and how you can hopefully learn from that lesson. Now, while I had COVID, I started getting invited to various planning meetings for various events that were happening throughout the rest of the year. VMworld, NetApp Insight, AWS reInvent, and, and many more. Unfortunately, what ended up happening is that all of the time I had earmarked for creative time got absolutely consumed by these planning processes. And since I was either the talent or helping produce those videos or that content, there just wasn't anywhere in there for me to make my own content here for the channel. I was certainly able to spin some side content out while we were at the events and I started doing a lot more experimentation with TikTok, but that was about the extent of it. The idea of week long writing, shooting, editing and publishing schedules were just no more. All of that time was consumed with other things that I, and this is the important lesson part, that I allowed myself to become committed to. So, lesson learned, <laughs> going into 2023, I've recommitted to my team that it is very likely that I will not be doing any traveling this year to focus 110% of my effort on content right here on YouTube and TikTok, as well as building our large Discord community for NetApp. In fact, I even told my manager that I don't wanna do anything this year that isn't attached to a piece of content coming out of the process. We've already kicked off one of those over on the NetApp YouTube channel with a live show called NetApp On Air, where we bring in key staff members to go over their products and services. So whether you're new to managing NetApp storage or a seasoned gray beard like yours truly, you'll wanna head over to the NetApp YouTube channel and look for NetApp On Air. We've got the show booked out all the way through the end of February already, with lots more to come throughout 2023. Check the description below for a link to the playlist and hey, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And there you have it, my recommitment to all of you. I absolutely love doing this and I hope you'll forgive me and afford me another shot at being the kind of creator that I wanna be. Now with that out of the way, let's go over some updates on all of the pre-existing projects that are left over from last year. Yeah, yes, I, I, I see you guys, I, I know, ah, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's coming, I promise. For those wondering what the hell I'm talking about, easily the most successful video I made last year was the Netflix video, talking about my journey through at-home media management using a platform called Plex. And I heard all of you loud and clear throughout the entire year asking when the next one was coming. It wrenched on my heart every single time I saw a question come up asking about when the next video was coming, and I loved reading about all of your configurations and your own journeys. So. Thank you for sharing those in the comments. The good news is, is that the server has been running great for more than a year now and is still sitting there waiting on the extra components to go in and it is tops on the list uh, of things getting addressed. 
one of my personal goals for this channel is to make a lot more videos covering various methods of home data and media management, as well as a focus on some backup and archiving throughout this year. I wanna go over the options that are available in the market and what I actually end up using myself. Deeper dives on metadata management with open source projects like Radar and Sonar, running various Plex configurations, consolidating and migrating large data sets from various storage systems, you name it. Much more, all coming soon, right here to the channel. And I apologize to you guys waiting on that Plex video for not living up to my promise nearly a year ago. Secondly, we have to talk about Data Center Dudes Data Center. Now that, that was easily the thing I was most excited about, but there it sits, still in the rack, powered off. Again, the good news is I have intentionally left it exactly where we left off after the video on the firm doing the firmware updates. We're ready to upgrade ONTAP to the latest and greatest and get it up and running full time here in the studio with ONTAP 9.12 since, well, that was just announced at Insight back in November. We're gonna host some data, we're gonna build some snapshot and mirror schedules, and we're gonna connect it to a variety of cloud services to begin demonstrating how edge and hybrid cloud models actually work in the real world. And if I can pull off what I've got in mind as a plan, it's going to be an epic series over the course of 2023 and beyond. Finally, as always, we've got tons and tons of updates to deliver on various NetApp products and services, some big announcements coming throughout the year, and you know I'll be on top of covering all of those right here, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel, have your notifications on, and hey, come jump in the NetApp Discord while you're at it. We're up over 3,000 members now with an entirely new layout featuring some new forum channels. If you haven't stopped by recently, you're, you're gonna wanna come check it out. So listen, I really appreciate you guys being patient with me and look forward to cranking out more and more content this year. My recap video on tech in 2022, as well as future predictions video will be up soon as well. But until next time, take care.